Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to create a bootstrap row. Now we'll create a bootstrap, strap, a bootstrap row for our inline elements. Create a div element below the H3 with a class of row. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna spread this out just so it's easier to see. Um, again, as this is a, on two lines, I like to do it like this so it's easy to read. This is way easier for me to read than it is when it's all jammed together like that. So this is the H3 element. We want to create a div element below this with a class of row. So we're gonna go uh, div with a class equal to row. And then we can close this div here. Because there's nothing in it right now, it doesn't tell us to actually do anything. We don't have to do that. Um, so if we run the tests, this will pass. But here's the thing, let's look at it and see what we've actually done. <clears throat> so within this, um, we've got the body tag in here. We've got our container our fluid container within here. And then within our container, we've got a H3 element, which you can see right here. And then we also have a, the row element. There's nothing in here right now. This before and after gets injected in by bootstrap. So um, if you look right now in the row, let's add something there like hello. Now, when we come in here, we can, if we inspect here, we see that we're in the, within the row this is the th space. You see this dark blue um, element, the whole dark blue area? That is the amount of space that we want to fill. Um, because this, so this will make more sense in the future, but this row is mobile responsive. So uh, if we increase and decrease it like this, we'll see that the row actually increases and decreases proportionally. And um, this is the mobile responsive um, like element of Bootstrap, which makes it so great. You can develop uh, web applications for both uh, iPhones and giant, um, you know, projection screens at the same time um, using Bootstrap. And that's what's so powerful here. So the row is really valuable. And the next thing I'm sure we'll get into is columns. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.